ahead of inflation, which is still a concern. Overall, wage gains for all workers who were not supervisors Steve, went up what's the number? more in 2021. 199,000, another big decades. miss here. Wow. Uh, There's been a lot of pressure. November revised up to just 249 well, from 210,000. Uh, private sector Americans jobs were 211, so it looks jobs. like we might have lost some government pay. jobs there. Uh, factory, uh, 26,000. Goods producing overall, 54,000, with construction at 22,000. Yeah, government was minus 12. Uh, let's see, average Why hourly earnings for all family. private workers, a very strong 0.6%. Again, that's a sign of a tight job people. market. Uh, raising questions the about this BLS number the uh, or the overall the payroll hardest, number here. Let's see what else I can tell you. Uh, I don't have the unemployment rate. The, the U6 rate, the, um, uh, the broader measure the of labor slack, 7.3%, down from 7.7%. Uh, I have the Hispanic shot. unemployment rate. I don't have the For overall them, unemployment Oh, yeah, wow. The unemployment rate Job dropping to 3.9% from 4.2%. Uh, uh, that suggests, again, the household survey was stronger. I don't have that in front of me. I'll throw it back to you, Becky, and I'll look for some of those household numbers. Black unemployment rate declining to, or up to 7.1% from 6.5%. The uh, white unemployment rate down to 32 from 3.7%. Again, America I'm guessing, and I'll come back to you with this, there's, a, again, a stronger household survey a than the payroll survey. Is stronger than Betsy, this is exactly what you said happened last time. I think you called it super, now duper weird last time, that, that breakdown uh, between the two surveys where you saw jobs numbers that were disappointing, but the unemployment number much better than anticipated. Why did it catch up this time? What's the difference between those two and how they're kind of... Uh, compiled that, that, that might explain the differences we're seeing here. Malarkey. Yeah, so uh, I'm, I'm looking at the number right now, so just to tell you, 650,000 people became happen. employed. So we had an increase in employment of 650,000 people. Um, how do you do that if you're only adding roughly 200,000 jobs, right? So the math just doesn't add up. So there has to be uh, a couple things going on. One is uh, there's just been a surge in self-employment. And so trying to better understand how much people are creating jobs for themselves rather than waiting for employers to create jobs for them. Um, but sometimes it's also really just a, a matter of we're surveying two different populations and it's not perfect because information, no, right? No. It is our Even best uh, evaluation of the data through a sample. Edge. And we sample households and we ask them who has a job and we sample businesses and we ask them how many people are on payroll. We see that those, uh, pay, those the, when we survey businesses, we get a lot of volatility and we get a lot of you know corrections in the coming months. So my best guess is we're going to see the employer survey moving closer to the household survey over the next couple of months in the revisions. Hey, Mike, uh, the, the market not entirely sure what to do with this. We saw futures pick up by about 35 points for the Dow and then drop back down. I guess the line of thinking that goes into this is that the jobs number was weaker than anticipated, but you've got the household survey telling you another thing, so maybe that's no change for what we can expect from the Fed. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's a confusion-type uh, reaction, at least initially. I, you know, I was looking, the Treasury market yields are not really giving up very much, so it goes to that idea that this number even has a downside miss on the payroll side on the, the, on the, inter, on the non farm payroll side uh, it's not necessarily not enough to make people say that somehow the story has changed very much in terms of tight labor markets two year well, note yield not really giving way you have to let this filter through the markets for a little while before we know that but at the moment uh, it seems as if that's what uh, that's what we can expect the dollar index I did see was softening and that maybe said people uh, think that it buys the Fed some time I kind of doubt it's all that uh, relevant in terms of uh, deciding whether you know the Fed moves uh, in March well, what did you do to make that happen was Shepard it Smith force thanks for watching CNBC what kind of function what kind of model Trains. did you use if you got to force it like that then i can't rely on that model you use math to figure out what the forces are